Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to try a vegan taco from a place I used to go to a lot, which is Taco Cabana. And yeah, I'm wearing my Bucky shirt. If you want to know about Bucky's, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do like some sort of video on Bucky's. Um, but the taco is, I hope it's vegan. From what I understand, it is. Um, they do have plant based. Beyond Meat, but I'm not crazy about Beyond Meat. It's highly processed, and I think beans, in my opinion, are just more wholesome. And they sure didn't give me a lot of stuff. So anyway, it comes with pico de gallo, lettuce, black bean, and rice. And uh, it's not, I asked for the pico de gallo on the side because, oh, I just spilled it because, oh gosh, I just spilled it. Um, I asked for it on site because I'm not crazy about pico de gallo because a lot of times they don't de-seed the jalapenos enough and it's just too hot and it burns my mouth. And I normally like spicy food, but I always get their salsa on the side, the regular salsa. And it's really good. I don't know if you can see it, the regular salsa. Let me see here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so. I'm going to get this. So let's go dive right in. So, Taco Cabana black bean taco it's vegan from what I understand and, and another thing I like about Taco Cabana is their their tortillas are made like fresh from scratch I mean look at that browning of and it's soft and it's just mm, it smells good mm -mm -mm. Let me get out of the way so you can see it. Because if I don't... My face is there. I'll focus on my face. Mm. It's wholesome. But it doesn't taste... You know, it's, it's wholesome, but it tastes... It tastes healthy, but not like diet food or whatever. Like, it has a lot of flavor. Mm. I mean, you're on a budget, which I am, always. <laughs> it's a dollar forty with everything, tax included. Mmm, it's so good. If you haven't had Taco Kamana black bean taco, I recommend trying it. And um, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, or a meat eater, whichever. You know, unless you don't like beans and rice. Who doesn't like beans and rice? I do. I guess there's some people that don't, but. Mm. And the salsa is just, it's watery. But it has a lot of flavor, and it reminds me, I hate to stereotype, but. It reminds me of a little Mexican grandma that's been cooking for years that knows what she's doing, and she made it from scratch. And that's a good thing, obviously. And the tortillas, like they're like I said, they're they're fresh. But yeah, I put the salsa on it. Put the salsa on it. I put the salsa on it. And it's really good. Mmm. You gotta try it. Oh my goodness. I think the regular beans have lard or bacon in them. Yeah, lard or bacon or, or both, but the black beans don't. And a lot of places when you get black beans, they're not much flavor. There's, there's not a whole lot of flavor in black beans a lot of times. This this does. It has a lot of flavor, and so does the rice. And it's not too salty, which is another reason why I like it a lot, too. I'm not crazy about a lot of salt. The bread's a little thick today. Almost is like a gordita. Mmm. But it's soft. And of course, you can order without lettuce. And a lot of times I order... I just got lettuce on it for the mukbang thing review. A lot of times when I order this taco, I don't order with lettuce. And that's another thing I found out. When you order lettuce or tomato on things, a lot of times they put extra. You know, like more beans and rice, for example. 
Mm. And if you like gluten free, you could just order. I've done this before too. Just order a side of beans and rice. I didn't put the pico on it, but I guess I'll test it for the channel. But mm, I'm not crazy about pico. And this pico just doesn't. I don't know. Pico. I'm not saying this is a bad pico, this one, but a lot, a lot of the times pico like looks like it's might be slimy or kind of old. Oh wow, it's fresh. Oh, that's spicy. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. But it's good. As a matter of fact, I'm putting it on my taco. You know what I should have did? I should have got some guacamole on the side and dipped my taco in it. That's another thing, too. When you order, in my opinion, from what I found out, like if you order from like this place or Taco Bell, instead of ordering sa or sour cream, instead of ordering guacamole on the item, a lot of times you'll get more if you order it on the side, which I should have did. My mouth is burning and it's my favorite water. If you don't know me yet, you'll find out. I love Evian water. It's expensive, I know, but mm, what a nice little meal for me today. I got out of the house. I've been sitting in the house a lot. I normally do because of my depression issues, which if you subscribe to my channel, you'll probably find out a lot more about me. I'm a pretty open, honest, and blunt person. A lot of times we're open and honest and blunt when we're kids, and I'm kind of still like that as an adult. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I recommend it. If there's anything else you want me to try, let me know. And the rice is, I mean, it's all good. I mean, it's not too salty. Now, sometimes it is salty. In the past, I've had it, it's been salty. But. This time it's not, and most of the time it's not. When you go late at night, sometimes you're getting like old rice and beans, but it's like 12.30 on a Monday, so it's pretty fresh. <laughs> I need a pasta. Maybe I did a fusion today of Italian and Mexican. I just ate noodle pasta rice, or noodle pasta lettuce. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so good. You have to try it. And after I eat it, I feel light. I don't feel like I ate a lot of heavy down food, you know? It doesn't taste highly processed like that Beyond Meat, which I can't stand it. I've had Impossible. That's a whole other story. I could go on and on and on about Impossible. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear my story about Impossible. I'll do a whole other mukbang and talk about Impossible, like how I drove far away to try it, and how I tried version 1.0 and 2.0, and the research I found on it, and yeah, but for now, this is going into nine minutes, so I'm going to sign off for here, and let me know if there's any other things from Taco Cabana you want me to try, or, you know, just comment and tell me whatever, let me know, and, you know. I'm sweating it's in the car. I ain't got to roll down the windows. I'm sitting here in the tar Target parking lot. All right. Uh, peace out. Bye-bye.